caused by Satan, the once higher archangel desiring godlike power. Arms on armor, clashing braid, horrible discord and the maddening wheels of brazen chariots raged between the angels and God, Satan and the rebel angels. Great triumph and rejoicing was in heaven when such was heard declared the almighty God won. Good out of evil to create, God said. Let there be light, said God, and forthwith light, ethereal. First of things, quintessence pure sprung from the deep. And God said, let the waters generate over all the face of earth, ocean flowed into one place. And let dry land appear, God announced. Immediately mountains, huge, appear emerging into the clouds, their tops ascend the sky, so high as heaven. And he looked at his creation and saw that it was good. And God said, Let us now make man in our image, and let them rule over all the earth. God breathed of life, in his own image he created Adam, the image of himself. Into the delicious Eden, this garden, planted with the trees of God, and freely but all their pleasant fruit for food. But God commanded the man, From any tree in this garden you may eat freely, but from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. The day came that Adam asked for a companion. Then God made a woman, and named her Eve. And God brought her to Adam, hand in hand they passed, the loveliest pair that ever since in love's embraces met. And Satan, taking up the form of the serpent, says to Eve, with her eager appetite raised by the smell so savory of that fruit, the serpent said to the woman, You surely will not die if you for God knows that in the day you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil.